Hey, welcome to Grace Points. Pastor Stephen here at Grace Point Church, and uh, we want to uh, share uh, what we talked about uh, this past Sunday in worship. We're in a series called The Owner's Manual for Life, and uh, this past Sunday we talked about the owner's manual for health, that God really wants us to be physically, emotionally, and spiritually healthy. In fact, uh, in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, and verses 7 and 8, we read these words. He says, my son, don't forget my teaching. Keep my commands in your heart. They'll prolong your life many years, and they will bring you peace and prosperity. Verses 7 and 8 say, don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Listen, this will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Literally, this will bring healing to your body and marrow, refreshment, nourishment. Uh, to your bones. So we talked about how uh, God's Word really tells us that He wants us to be healthy and that our spiritual health can actually impact our physical health. Uh, The little town of Rosetto, Pennsylvania, we read about in Malcolm Gladwell's bestseller, Outliers, and how this town was so healthy. People were living into their 90s. No one was having a heart attack. 65-year-old men were dying at half the rate of the national average. And uh, the number one cause of death in Rosetto was old age. And how a, a doctor, a research scientist, spent 50 years studying Rosetto. And what he found was that the, it was actually the community itself was keeping people healthy. Multiple generations were living under one roof. Houses were close to each other. There was this tremendous sense of community. You never invited your neighbors because everyone was always welcome. And uh, that literally their their emotional and spiritual strength in the community was actually helping them to be physically strong. And so these verses that talk about length of days and years in your life, that uh, God says, I'm going to prolong your life many years give you peace. I'm going to bring healing to your body, health to your bones. We talked about three different aspects of of God's uh, owner's manual for health. We talked about longevity, vitality, and prosperity. And uh, longevity, we said, is the measure of the years in your life. He says, I'll give you length of days. I'll prolong your life many years. And we know that with diet, exercise, nutrition, Uh, we know that we live at a time that's unique in history where, you know, your choices and your your lifestyle really has a lot to do with how long you're going to live. And so abusing alcohol, tobacco, uh, being overweight, uh, those issues, life insurance actuaries tell us, take years off our life. And so we know we need to be careful with our health. Diet, exercise, and rest is so important. And uh, we know that, you know, if you read 100 diet plans, what it all comes down to is lean protein, fruits and vegetables. Really, it's just making good, healthy choices. Then getting some exercise, getting moving. We need to stretch our muscles the same way we, we stretch our physical muscles. We need to stretch our spiritual muscles. We grow in faith. We exercise our faith. And then rest, the idea of just trusting God and making sure we're getting sleep. And so longevity is the measure of the years in your life. And uh, the second idea is the idea of vitality. And vitality is the pleasure of the life in your years. He, saw, he talked about length of days and he talked about years. This is a, something that's in Hebrew is used over and over and over again. It's a poetic device to talk about not only a long life, but a productive life. So we want longevity, but we also want vitality. You know, so many people are not really living. They're just existing. But we want to be fully alive. And the Bible talks about how we trust him. You know, our sleep is sweet. And uh, so we know that our spiritual life and the peace that God gives us helps us to, to live our life with a sense of purpose and a sense of direction and vitality. So we want to have longevity, we want to have vitality. And finally, the idea of prosperity. It's, it literally, it's the word shalom. It's the word peace. It doesn't just mean material prosperity, although certainly that's part of it. Uh, but it's also just um, having a sense of God's love and presence and blessing in your life. The Bible talks about that, that God wants us to prosper. He wants us to be well. 
So it's the idea of wholeness, wellness. Paul wrote in Thessalonians that, that uh, God would sanctify us through and through, body, soul, and spirit. Like the old hymn says, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender, my body, my soul, my spirit, physically, emotionally, spiritually, we want to be healthy, we want to be well. And uh, we, uh, we finished talking about uh, that symbol that we know from Star Trek that Leonard Nimoy, as Spock, famously gave us uh, when he met his Vulcan counterparts on one of those episodes. And, uh, and we learned the backstory of how Leonard Nimoy grew up in an Orthodox Jewish home in Boston and going to synagogue. He would actually see the rabbi hold up this symbol, which was the symbol of a letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the letter Shin, that was the first letter of the word Shalom. The idea, he could, he could remember as a boy hearing those words, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And so the, the, uh, the word shalom and uh, the symbol that was used would literally be the way that a rabbi would say, peace be unto you. That God wants to give us peace. So in Star Trek, they would famously say, live long and prosper. And really, that's God's message. That's the owner's manual for health. That you can have longevity that measures the years in your life. You can live a long life uh, trusting God, but you can also have vitality. That's the pleasure of the life in your years. Someone has said in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. And that prosperity really is the treasure of a life well lived. And uh, so I want to encourage you this week uh, to... uh, to remember that God wants you to be healthy, body, soul, and spirit. And we'll look forward to seeing you this Sunday morning at 10 a.m. as we continue. And this week, we're going to talk about the owner's manual for wealth. And, uh, you know, money's not the most important thing in the world, but somebody said it's right up there with oxygen. So we're going to see what God says about how we can really experience financial freedom and, uh, and experience God's blessing. Have a great week.